Do you know how to protect your vibe? So a couple of weeks ago, I had, you know, a less than desirable weekend, let's say. I shed some tears, I felt sorry for myself, and then I came home and thought, you know, I need to do a better job of protecting my vibe. A better job of taking care of myself. A better job of putting me first. You would think as a posh consultant that I would have the whole me time, um, self-care thing down, but I'm actually one of the worst with self-care. I put everybody else before myself, and I mean, I'm a fabulous friend, but I'm a pretty bad self-carer, self-caretaker. I'm not good at it. So don't make the mistakes that I've made and follow these 10 tips to protecting your own vibe. After all, as a leader, as a woman, it's up to us to be the vibe of our tribe. Gossip and drama. It'll take the life out of you. You wanna know how to avoid gossip? When somebody comes to you with some gossip, distract them. Give them something else to talk about. Did you get a new haircut? Is that shirt from Target? Girl, how do you walk in those heels? When you distract whoever's coming at you with gossip and drama with something else, you're winning. Number two, let go of the things you can't control. And this is a tough one. Listen, we can't control it, so don't let it stress you out. I struggle with this one myself, but the sooner we can get hold of it, the better. At Perfectly Posh, we always say, don't compare your journey with somebody else's. And that goes for protecting your own vibe too. Don't compare yourself to others. You're comparing your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 12. Or maybe you're comparing their highlight reel to your real life, right? We've all seen that meme about Facebook. It's true. When you go into social media, you're looking at everybody's highlight reel. I mean, hello, go on my social media. Everything looks wonderful, rainbow, sunshine. You would have never known that I was feeling down in the dumps. Have courage to believe in yourself. You're stronger than you think, right? We've all heard, but doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, it's freaking true. I've been through a lot in my life, and guess what? I'm still here standing. I bet you've been through a lot that you didn't even think you would ever make it through, but you're still here. We have to believe in ourselves. We're the only ones that are ever gonna be there for ourselves, right? Nobody cares about you the way that you care about you. So protect that. If it doesn't feel right, then it's probably not. There's a rule of thumb. If it doesn't feel right, then it's probably not. How many times have you done something and something in the back of your head or something in your heart was telling you it's probably not a good idea? Again, have faith in yourself. You know what's right for you. Let's talk about self-talk. Negative self-talk has just gotta be a thing of the past. Talk positively to yourself. You hear your thoughts, right? We have this unique ability to have conscious thoughts. Let's consciously turn those thoughts positive. It makes a difference. I told you, I was depressed a couple of weeks ago. I'm still sad about things sometimes, but I'm doing good things for me. I'm making positive changes. And that starts with positive self-talk. Here's a big one. Don't be afraid to spend time alone. Don't think you're gonna be lonely. You are your biggest fan. So don't be afraid to spend time with your biggest fan. You'd be surprised at how much happiness can come from going to the movies alone or taking a walk alone or enjoying your favorite TV show alone. I know some of you moms out there are like, hell, I'd love to be able to go to the bathroom alone. <laughs> do your best to carve out some alone time, even if it's just five minutes to do a face mask. Find yourself some alone time, it's really important. Here's another one that's gonna be tough for the moms out there. Please yourself before you please others. Take care of number one. If you're not taking care of number one, nobody else is going to. And we all know the saying, right? You've gotta fill up your own cup before you can pour into others. And it's totally true. When you take care of yourself, you're in such a better shape to be taking care of others. So take care of number one. Are any of your friends energy suckers? We want to avoid people that drain the energy from us. Sorry, not sorry. If you are around somebody who is just making you feel yucky or bringing you down, don't be around that person. We have this thing called free will. We can choose who our friends are. We can choose where we spend our time. We can also choose to think differently, right? So if the person that drains your energy is actually your boss and you have no choice to choose whether or not to be around them, change your positive thoughts and preserve, preserve yourself. Create a buffer between you and that negativity. 
Don't let it in. We can choose not to let that negativity in. It'll make a difference. And lastly, everybody's got an opinion, but it doesn't mean that we have to listen to it. Ignore all of the opinions that don't positively enhance your life. Jessica, how do I ignore them? Literally, just ignore them. You can receive that information and it goes in one ear and out the other. I know you know how to do that, right? We were all teenagers at one time. I know my mom and dad said some things that always went right in one ear and out the other. Do that as an adult. Anybody's opinion that is not positively making you feel great, that's not enhancing your life, let it right out the other side. You guys, life is too short. You've got to protect your vibe. And that's going to protect your tribe. Thanks for watching.